This is my 13th year in, in Formula One, which just sounds crazy. But um, every year I race, you feel that there's that new possibility, that new challenge of, uh, and that new chance, really, to fight for the World Championship again. We've made sure that we've, we've done the best job we can to, to build a great car. We've moved things around in the, in the team in terms of mechanics and engineers so that we perform at our optimum. I think we're in a good position. It's like control alt delete. You're 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 resetting from from last year. Previously, we were tested every every fortnight, and all of a sudden, you go into this kind of white space where everybody's working very hard, but you're not quite sure what you're catching. But great season ahead, two world class drivers, uh, and some new races. Looking forward to going to the states as well. So it should be a good year. I think going into a new season, you've always got to be very positive. Uh, Otherwise, what's the point? You know, I think uh, when you're working with this many people to produce a car, there's got to be a lot of positive energy. I'm constantly asked how confident I am going into a season, but you can never really be too confident. I think you have to always um, remain calm and, and just make sure you've prepared yourself well. That's, that's the best way to approach a season. It looks a little bit different to last year's car, even though it is an evolution of the previous year's car, um, but just optimised in certain areas where it wasn't so strong last year. All the time we're, we're improving Formula 1 cars, so there are many things on this car that are different to last year because we've just taken it to another level. And for me, it's something that's always been key and very important is to be in the right position in the car, be low enough in the car, feel that you're part of the car. During the course of the year, we discover things about the car, things that we might like to do that we probably wouldn't have time or scope to change. If we want to make a fundamental change to the chassis or a repositioning of the gearbox, or then those kind of changes involve so much time and effort. So we, we harvest that up during the course of the year and go, right, you know, come the revolution, brothers, we'll get all that on the, on the car. But then again, there are step changes, step changes in regulation, and uh, we have an important one this year where the FIA have uh, sought to reduce the impact of blown downforce or the way we use the exhaust gas um, to generate performance from the car. I find the, the technical side of, the, of, of Formula One fascinating. All these different designers in different departments design all these components and how they all come together in January and then you slot into the car perfectly. It's a phenomenal process, I think. We're always looking to improve a part, strengthen a part, make the part um, either more aerodynamic or lighter um, or more user friendly. Sometimes you sit in the car and they tell you about something new and you're like, well, why, why did they change that? It felt fine before and then they tell you the reasons. It's like, okay, now I understand. Once you've achieved um, the World Championship or Grand Prix victories, nothing else will do. Um, and you become really hungry for that. That feeling you get when you cross the finish line. First, you see the chequered flag, you see the whole team hanging over the pit wall cheering. Um, and you know exactly what's going through every single member of the team's head, heads when you, when you cross that finish line. That buzz, that adrenaline rush. Um, that's a, a very special feeling and it is very addictive. Trying to perfect everything, trying to make sure you have everything in place going into a year. There's so, much, so many elements, that, uh, so many parts of the puzzle to make things uh, perfect. I mean, you're constantly striving for perfection, but you never actually get it perfect. But that, that journey to try and make, that journey to that goal is quite a lengthy, steep hill, and every year you, uh, you attack it in a slightly different way, but hopefully uh, come out with better results. As a driver, you have to try and look at all areas to, to improve on. There's uh, obviously your physical condition, there's your diet. There's so much time to be gained at the start of the race, for example, so making sure that your reaction times are improved and training very, very hard. I'm very happy with the progress I've made and I'm, a ver I'm very positive at the moment in terms of what I can achieve and also very positive about what the team can achieve. We win and we lose together and, uh, and that's why we're a team.